Okay, various S customs. This is just an update to our budget crawler build. Uh, we've picked up a few more parts to upgrade it. Uh, we picked up a 35 kg servo for it. It's probably a little bit overkill, but it was only about a two dollar difference between the 25 and the 35 kilo, so we went with the big one. We're hoping we can uh, run this without the UBEC, but we will try it as is, and then we'll try putting a cat pack if we have any issues with it. Um, then, if we need to, we'll run a UBEC system on it. But we'll just run it as is, see how it goes. We also picked up a alloy servo horn for it as well, just because of course the plastic one's going to break pretty quickly. These servos you can normally run it pretty fine without having a failure point like you'd normally expect because they're such a strong servo. We also picked up some tyres. Um, these aren't new beadlocks, we're borrowing these from a mate until we decide on what we want. But we're going to run these as well just to help give us a little bit more weight down low and see how much that improves the truck. And then finally we picked up a 8000 milliamp uh, 2S LiPo for it. This is probably once again a little bit overkill but for some who don't want to have to worry about charging batteries if you're going away this is going to give you such a long run time. I mean we got about an hour out of a I think it was a 1400 impact or whatever the stock one was. But of course running the bigger servo is also going to drain the power a little bit more. So obviously we're going to change the Dean's plug over to an SD60 as that's what we run on everything else. So let's get these plugs changed over and then get everything installed. Right, so we've got the battery chain, um, plug changed over. Just a word of warning to anyone who wants to do this themselves, make sure you only ever remove one wire at a time. It eliminates any chance of shorting the battery out and killing it straight up. I've done it before in the past, it's a brookie mistake, but it can easily be done when you're not thinking. So now we're going to move on to the servo and get that installed. There's a culprit, you can see it's missing a couple of teeth here. Take that gear out. It's got a few teeth floating around in there. Once again, this is why you don't put a cheap plastic servo in something that's designed to, you know, to go up hills. It's a bit disappointing that they still sort of cheap out of this area because everything else seems to be great on this. So, you know, for a matter of $27 to replace it, I mean, the rest of these gears look fine. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, twenty-seven dollars you can get the thirty-five kg one, which is awesome replacement for it.
So that's it all installed. The servo seems to work good. Now we've just adjusted the EPA so it doesn't overturn. Well, of course, no, actually not EPA on this. It's only, only got the dual rate steering, which limits how much you can steer. So basically you want to turn it as much as you can before you start seeing the servo start to load up. Obviously, if you start putting too much force for your servo, it's going to kill the servo. Um, so this is a very important step. Even this is only a basic controller, you still got your... Um, you can adjust the steering on how much it actually goes. And on more top end controls, you can actually adjust how much left to right steering because the steering isn't always the same left to right. As you can see, it actually steers more this way than it does the other way. Um, whereas on other controllers, you can actually adjust that so it steers equally left to right. But on this, you can't do that, which I don't think is too important in this application. But it's important to, to not overturn your servo. And then obviously, you're going to want to just quickly center it back up so we've got this all ready to go again um, we're hoping to get a couple of mates together and run it up against the ECX 10 2 and a Traxxas Tower X4 uh, we put these tires on as well because of the fact that they have them as well just trying to level out the playing field to see what this actually can do against a well-known branded machine 